Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss one interesting question from image processing point of view. Okay, so already we have seen multiple structuring element for morphological image processing especially in erosion, dilation, image opening, image closing all those right. Now this particular programming problem is based on the structuring element. So we have created this structuring element using this particular inbuilt function, right? S-T-R-E-L. And I have also told you this simple way to remember structuring element. So st for structuring S-T-R-E-L for element, right? Now in my this video, we are going to solve one programming question, okay? Which will improve our logical thinking skill so that we can create structuring element by our own if it's required if some situation arises okay some particular same structuring element is required that time we can do for that this kind of practice questions might be helpful okay so make circle matching filter so as you know for ma matching the circular shape we use the disk shape structuring element right now we are going to implement the same programmatically okay so here is the problem statement read this problem statement very carefully after going through this problem statement i'll be showing you the sample test case also then we'll move on to programming part the question is create a function make circle matching filter so the function name of my program should be this one which takes as input the diameter for the circle as well as w okay the what is w w is basically the filter size for the matching filter so as you can clearly understand for disk shape structuring element matching we require two things one is diameter which we generally give and give as input uh, while using strel also and this time here in our this particular function which we are going to write from scratch we need to pass w okay so what we have to do basically we have to return one w cross w size filter inside which one uh, circular white object will be there whose center will be uh, there and this should be my radius double of radius is diameter so that diameter and this w will be given as input for my this particular filter okay but output is expected it outputs the w cross w matrix filter so as you know that in MATLAB everything is basically matrix right so nothing new in this which is a binary mask okay binary mask why because you know that uh, we work morphological operation mostly on binary image 0 and 1 0 means black color white means uh, uh, 1 means white color right so which is a binary mask that contains as foreground is circle so foreground should be circle like what we expect from disk shape structuring element right with with diameter centered in the matrix surrounded by background pixels okay so the width should be the diameter right diameter is nothing but double of radius of this particular circle and this white circular object should be surrounded by black pixels that means everywhere zero will be there and in between that this particular circular object will be there where all the elements in uh, pixels should be one pixel intensity should be one because this is binary mask okay the filter serves as a matching filter for circular shapes with approximately the same diameter as expected as we know that we use this kind of binary objects for a structuring element for morphological operation like opening closing erosion dilation thinning thickening etc right the function also outputs xc and yc what are these two these two are basically the coordinates of the center of the filter as second and third optional outputs okay so also we need to return the centroid Okay, center of this particular filter or of this uh, circular binary object also, right? Now let's understand the sample test case which will uh, make this whole picture clear. Suppose I am giving these two input parameter diameter 20 with as 30. So we should return, see 30 
is maximum x and y x is also maximum 30 why like this because you know uh, in image domain the origin starts from here in, actually most of the operation origin present here but as we are considering this as image so it will start from here right so if we give these two as input argument we should get this kind of structuring element as output okay so you can easily see that they, this is one kind of circular say binary object which is having all ones and this is surrounded by black color that is zero intensity okay and two more extra piece of argument we have to return as output xc and yc which is center of this particular binary object which is 15.5 and yc is also 15.5 so how we are getting this we can easily understand with this 30 the center should be what w by 2 comma w by 2 right now what is happening here this is even number so when we are dividing by 2 we will be getting 15 right integer number you will be getting but the result expected result is 15.5 15.5 this indicates that if we are giving width as even number whatever integer we will be getting after dividing by 2 we have to add 0 0.5 with that and return the xc and yc simple suppose this particular width is odd what will happen i will be discussing in my next sample test case one more thing to be noted the diameter is 20 and here you can see that this is starting from nearly 5 and it is going up to 25 similarly in y direction this is starting from 5 it is going to 25 so 25 minus 5 is nothing but 20 so diameter 20 condition is also followed okay now let's consider if with this particular part is odd number what will happen because for even number we have understood the logic that whatever after dividing by 2 whatever we will be getting with that we will be adding 0 0.5. Now suppose diameter 20 and width is 31 then the expected result is this one and expected xc and yc are 1616. 16. So how we are getting 16 with width we are adding plus 1 then dividing by 2 because 31 plus 1 is 32 32 by 2 is 16 so xc yc same. So the uh, logic for center location is very simple if odd then we will be adding 1 and then dividing by 2 and that will be value of xc and yc if w is even that time what we will be doing that time we will be dividing by 2 and then we will add 0 0.5 with that because we have seen that we are getting this kind of result using this and here as you can see diameter 20 here also the peak is starting from 5 to 25 in y direction and similarly is the x direction 5 to 25 which is diameter 20 it is maintaining and what will be the logic the central location finding logic is very simple xc yc we, we understood how to get xc and yc for width is even or odd number so what we'll be doing we'll be first creating one zero matrix having all the pixel elements as 0 okay and the matrix dimension should be w cross w right then while traversing we will be using two for loops one for row and one for column traversal and we will just check whether the distance of any pixel from the central location obviously i hope you know what is the distance from between two points x root over of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square that square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square there is distance between those two points if less than or equal to radius okay what is radius radius is nothing but this diameter by 2 that means that particular pixel is coming inside this radius that means that particular point will be within this circle so we will be making that particular uh, pixel position as 1 because 1 means white color else if it is not satisfying that condition we will be making that 0 right but you understood the problem statement you understood the sample test case you understood the logic try by your own first before moving ahead here i am explaining the code okay but before going ahead with the solution please try by yourself this way the uh, logic building skill will be developed okay so here is my function filter one uh, main output parameter then xc and yc central location optional make circle um, uh, matching filter is my function name diameter and w two piece of input parameter where w is the w cross w uh, the filter uh, size which you have to return and diameter is basically width of my circular uh, binary object present in my image 
Then first what we am doing, we, uh, I am doing, I am creating one geometrix. All are black. Then we are checking whether this particular W is odd or even. So rem is the function. So what is the condition to check whether number is even or odd? Simple. Just we have to check after dividing by 2, is there any remainder? If there is no remainder, that means there is even number. If there is remainder, that means there is odd number. So rem w comma 2 equal to equal to 0, that means remainder is 0. That means we will be following even condition. In even case, what we have seen, we have to divide by 2, which has to be divided by 2 and we are adding 0 0.5 with that. Okay, simple. Else, there is odd number. So x equal to w plus 1 by 2, right? So we have seen that if w is odd number, we are adding 1 with it, making that even and then dividing by 2 and always x is, should be equal to yc. So y is equal to x I am writing in this if else condition. So x c y c done. Now we are using two for loop as we use for traversing matrix and image is nothing but 2D matrix, right? Uh, the binary image or grayscale image is 2D matrix. The color image is 3D matrix, right? Because RGB, three different channels are there. Okay, right. So for i equal to 1 colon w, for j equal to 1 colon w, traversing for row and column, if square root of i minus xc whole square plus j minus yc whole square, this is square root, this particular part is nothing but to calculate distance between a particular point and the center location of our filter. If less than equal to the radius, radius is nothing but diameter by 2. If this condition is satisfied, that means that particular pixel is coming inside the circle. So we are making that one. Initially, all we have defined as 0. But whatever pixel is coming inside that circle, we are making that one. As simple as that in this if condition, in this internal for and in this external for, and this end is for ending the function. That's all. Okay. So I hope you have understood this code. Very, very important. And this kind of uh, different filter, you just try to uh, program from scratch and apply in your image processing project. Then you will be enjoying the logic building skill a lot because you are scratching, you are programming from scratch. Okay. Not dependent on MATLAB inbuilt function or something like that short. Okay. So this is also a very good practice to go through uh, the coding from scratch. I hope you have understood this. This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos. Thank you.